Hey, what is up guys? Today we're going to be taking a close look at those internet fishing braids. Uh, if you go on Amazon, if you go on eBay like I do, and you peruse those sites for fishing deals, then you probably run into a lot of these braids either advertised or just ranked high at the top of the listing. One, because they're cheap, or two, because they're paid to be ranked pretty high. So no, I'm not being paid by any of these companies to, uh, you know, give you my, you know, absolutely five star positive review of any of this stuff um if anything i'm only being paid in the uh you know in the form of free comp gear but i will give you a honest and uh you know real world experience and review of what my opinion is of all these braids that you see here in comparison to you know name brand stuff that i use day to day and uh if you like this video and if you appreciate the honesty please give this video a like there's a lot of videos out there that you know because they're comped are basically false advertisement a lot of people are happy they're you know being sent two to three dollars worth a braid and give a glowing review or a fake five star review on amazon so if you like this video please give it a like i don't do that often but i would love this video to rank high uh, just so people get a real world evaluation and you know the real scoop on whether or not these braids are worth it and if you guys have any experience with the braid shown here today or if you'd like to recommend your favorite braid, please leave it in a comment below. Enough said, let's get to it. On to the braids. In no particular order, we'll start with the casking stuff. So ca casking is pretty notorious for pushing their product pretty heavily on social media in the form of uh, comping a lot of YouTubers with free gear in exchange for, you know, kind of a wink wink, uh, you know, high ranking uh High ranking uh, approvals in the form of a five star review on Amazon or an absolutely glowing review uh, on uh, their YouTube channels. And uh, you know what? Casking braid, casking fishing line in general works very well. So, in my opinion, it goes like this casking line up here, casking rods right here, and casking reels kind of down here. There's a lot of opportunity for failure for reels, yes, uh, particularly me, you know, a lot of my fishing, most of my fishing is done in salt, so, you know, I'm a true kind of testing, proving ground slash channel for, for your gear. So if you want your stuff to break, send it to me. Uh, but as far as the reels, meh, rods are actually pretty good. Their line is actually really good. So, uh, you know, starting off with uh, the Casking Super Power Braid, I think that's the most common braid uh, seen. I've had Super Power Braid in increments of 20, 25 pound, and 30 pound tests. And uh, you know what? It's actually pretty good. It's about $15 for 300 yards of 30 pound. And uh, yeah, it's actually not too bad. This is a four strand braid in uh, their 20 pound test. Um, it's pretty loud, it's pretty abrasive. Um, it'll definitely cut your finger. It's not one of the smoothest lines, um, but it knots fairly well in the uh, lighter poundages, I guess in the 15 to 25 pound. You know, casting into a headwind, you will get some wind knots. It's very, very supple, and it doesn't have too much memory. It is braid, uh, but some braids hold memory, actually. You'll get to that in a second. But um, this braid, if you're on a budget and you want to try a braid for the first time, I definitely recommend this braid, particularly in white, because you know most casking braids I found, they bleed like crazy. So a lot of the braids, especially the Super Power, it's a base white with a color kind of dye applied after uh, the braid is made or maybe it's soaked whatever it is if you have gear that you care about don't get any other color but white because uh, you'll get you know uh, dye all over your stuff but casking super power braid again about 15 dollars for 300 yard spool of um, 30 pound test uh, that's the metric i'm going to be using that's the standard i'll be using for all these uh braids today I like this stuff, super power braid. So, you know, if you're into bottom jigging, vertical jigging, if you're into crab snaring like me, uh, you know, that's a pretty common uh, style of fishing on the West Coast, um, then it's not too bad. I definitely, um, definitely like this one. All right, next up on the list is Casking Cast Pro. So Casking, in the last year or so, last year or so, heavily, heavily promoted this line as I think effectively replacing their higher performance lines like the Mega 8 and the Max Thin 8. And uh, this Cast Pro line, unfortunately for casking, to me, wasn't as impressive as uh, I thought it would be. Yes, it comes with a bio spool. You can bury the spool and it disappears and disintegrates. That's cool. Uh, and yes, it's made in the USA. Uh, you know, that's actually pretty cool. Always cool to see business brought back to the States. Um, I have it in 40 pound test. And uh, honestly, it's pretty, it's 
pretty spongy and it's a lot thicker than I thought it'd be. I have a lot of 40 pound lines that are a lot thinner than it. Um, it's relatively smooth, not as smooth as uh, as J Braid, for example. And uh, unfortunately, it bleeds. I thought it would be um, a, finally a casking braid that didn't bleed. But check this out on this reel here. This happens to be a Pissafun Spartan. And uh, yeah, you can see that roller right there just completely blue. And I've only had this line on here for about three or four months. I've put uh, a few large rays on it. The one thing I do like about this line, and all casking line actually, is that it's true to its poundage rating. This is a 40 pound uh, test uh, uh, braid right here. I put a 35 pound bat ray on it, no problem. It knots really well, it casts really well. Um, I put another 20 pound ray on it, uh, no problems, abs you know, absolutely no problems with the Cask Pro stuff. Cask Pro stuff is a little more expensive than, um, you know, the Super Power stuff. This is, uh, again, $15 for 300 yards of a 30-pound test, while the Cask Pro is actually, it's actually like 30% more expensive. 30-pound test, 300 yards will set you back about $21 per spool. So, in my opinion, the Super Power braid, again, in white, so it doesn't bleed, is, you know, just as good as the Caspro line. I don't think the Caspro line is worth that extra bit of money. All right, next up on the list in no particular order is Loot Line by Nordtail. Now, Nordtail isn't really a well-known fishing manufacturer. They do make a lot of actually quality packs, or if they don't make them, they at least brand uh, brand some really well-made uh, packs. I, I use mine. Um, that the one that they send me for um, my plugging lures and uh, they also make some really interesting lures but as far as line check this out this is 20 pound test super super thin one of the thinner lines that I think I've tested um, pretty abrasive I think this is only four strand uh, so it does rub through the guides really really loud um, you know it, it does not really well it casts really well but this line right here is one of the worst bleeding lines I've ever used. I got it in black. I put it on a bait caster. I used it for about four hours, and my hands basically turned black. I mean, my, my rod was black. My reel was black. This stuff bleeds like crazy. So, again, if you got this in white, it would probably be okay. In my opinion, at 20 pounds... It's not going to be as good as the Casking Super Power. I've just had more experience with the Casking Super Power braid, and uh, I just don't trust this line based on how bad it bleeds. If the quality uh, of the dye is that bad, I just don't know what the quality of the braid will be. This is one of the cheaper braids here today. 14 bucks will get you 300 yards, a 30 pound braid, um, you know, $1 less than comparable size uh, Super Power by Casking. If it were me, I would skip this and go with the superpower. And next up we have Pissafun's Lunker line. Now this isn't the Pissafun Lunker line uh, spool. I actually don't know what I did with it, but this is the line that um, predates the Lunker line. Pissafun line is actually not too bad. I do have the Lunker line here. This is 20 pound black braid. And you know what? I think it's basically the same line I, I swear, I think it comes from the same manufacturing house. I'm pretty sure it's the same line as that Nordtail stuff. Um, just look and feel and performance. It it feels just like that Nordtail line. It is a little bit smoother, I guess. Um, but, you know, if it's not made in the same manufacturing house as that Nordtail stuff, it's because of this. It doesn't bleed as bad as Nordtail. Uh, the Nortel Loot, again, one of the worst bleeding lines I've ever used, if not the worst. Um, this piss fun stuff, it has all the positive qualities of the Nortel Loot stuff, um, but it just doesn't bleed as bad. This was black at one time, but I've used this a lot. Put a lot of use, uh, a lot of hours on it in the salt, and uh, it's kind of faded to gray. But uh, the Pissafun Lunker line, you know, this this isn't the right spool for that. But the Pissafun Lunker line, it's not too bad. Um, knots well, casts pretty well. You know, as a value braid, it's not too bad. It'll set you back uh, 17 bucks though for a 300 yard spool, a 30 pound test. So it's a little more expensive than the Super Power. Is it as good of a value as Super Power? In my opinion, no. Again, I think. For the money, if you went with a white braid, the Casking Super Power would be a better choice than the Pissafun Lunker Line. And next up, we have one of the 
newer additions to my Chinese braid arsenal, and that's the Runkle Power Braid. So Runkle, like uncle, they sent me this line to test along with uh, one of their reels. This is a Titan Eye, so future review on this reel coming up. But they also sent me uh, 60 pounds, uh, 60 pound test, 300 yards of their Power Braid line. You know, not too much to say with this line other than the fact that it runs smooth and it's the closest. Okay, again, again, I'm not being paid to say this, but in my opinion, as far as textile feeling, the way it knots and the way it casts, just the way it feels in hand, this power braid is the closest braid, online braid, you know, man, Chinese manufacturer probably, braid that I've found. Uh, it's the closest re resemblance to one of these Chinese braids to Power Pro. Yeah, Shimano's Power Pro. It's kind of like four-sided. Um, this is it's an eight-strand braid uh, at sixty-pound test, and uh, you know what? It knots well. It doesn't bleed as bad as some of these other lines. This is a gray, and uh, I've used it for crabbing, and you know what? I've never had any issues with it. It holds a power knot really well. It's pretty supple. Um, you know, would I put it on a rod where I could catch you know lifetime kind of game fish? Probably not. I probably would go with the name brand. But again, if you're looking for a quiet, smooth line uh, that's not going to break the bank, and uh, you know if you're doing something like vertical jigging where you're not casting hard and not casting super heavy stuff over and over repetitively, this might be a good option for you. Runkle braid comes in. Uh, this power braid comes in at uh, 18 bucks for 30 yards. You know, 300 yard spool. So one of the pricier ones. But you know, from my limited experience with it. It's not too bad. Again, I don't know if I would use it for uh, big game stuff, but if you're looking for a cheap option for vertical jigging or crabbing or you know doing junk fishing, something like that, where you're not going to cry if you lose something, this might be a good option for you. And next up, we have one of the bigger surprises on this table today, and that's the Sea Knight Monster W8 Braid by uh, C Knight. Now this spool here was sent to me by Jason at banggood.com. So thanks to banggood.com for sending me this line. Uh, I've always wanted a braid higher than a uh, 60 pound um, just to play her with, just to see if we could handle, you know, sturgeon, big bat rays, whatever. And uh, you know what? This braid in hand is actually pretty nice. Uh, honestly, it's round, it's smooth. Um, you know, I put a few bat rays on it, maybe a couple of little sharks, nothing to really test, uh, you know, a true 80 pound braid. But in my experience with this braid, this braid comes the closest to my favorite braid, my all time favorite braid, and that's Daiwa J braid. J braid, C Knight W8. Visually, it's hard to tell, the camera's probably not picking it up. But trust me, as far as knotting, the way it casts, the way it sits on the spool, um, it feels really good. Um, it does hold a little bit of memory. It's not as supple as J braid, but on a big reel, uh, my 8,000 conflict, this braid is actually pretty surprising. Um, you know, it's one of the rounder and smoothest, uh, braids, online braids that I've ever used. And, uh, you know, until I catch a hundred pound sturgeon on it, uh, I'm not going to really say that it's, you know, lives up to its pound rating like, uh, some of these other braids do. But I don't know. It really surprised me. I've seen other videos where um, people say that it prematurely breaks a lot lower than its uh, pound test rating. So it's going to take a lot for, for me to break 80 pound. But um, I guess you'll see it in upcoming videos. But as far as in-hand feel, um, the way it, it doesn't fade. Um, you know, this has probably spent four or five hours in salt. And it hasn't faded, you know, as much as a lot of these other braids have. Um, this braid is actually pretty surprising. I'd be interested to test it in a 20 pound to see how it handles a uh, day to day surf fishing. But, um, you know, for, for big capacity reels, if you want to fill a big reel with, um, you know, decent stuff. And for whatever reason, if you don't want to go with J braid, this stuff, uh, surprised me. It's only uh, 17 bucks for 300 yards of 30 pound test. Um, so yeah, C Knight W8 monster braid, one of the bigger surprises on this table. And last and least, the worst line on this table, and perhaps, no, the worst braid I've ever tested 
is this Godline fishing braid. So I know Godline um, kind of got their claws into YouTube videos. I don't know, a couple years ago, you started seeing a lot of big uh, YouTubers, uh, you know, maybe not promoting this line, but saying they were using it. Man, they, they, they got bamboozled. I tried this line in 20 pound test, 25 pound test, and I bought my own 30 pound test just to make sure it wasn't as crappy as uh, I was experiencing it. But this line right here, this line right here is terrible. Okay, so number one, it's really loud. It's really rough. When it runs to your guides, I mean, it sounds like a chainsaw buzzing your guides in half. I don't know why, but unlike Superpower, unlike Loot, unlike the uh, Pissed Fun stuff, at these lower poundages, you normally have four strand. This stuff is terrible. It's really loud. It's really abrasive. It'll cut your finger. It bleeds like crazy, and the worst thing, the worst thing is that it comes way under its uh, pound test rating. So this is 20 pound test. <sighs> I think I pulled 10 pound on it, it broke. My 25 pound test uh, you know, version, I have the multicolor on a uh, bait caster. I was casting a three ounce uh, pyramid weight, you know, not too much on 25 pound test. I was going after sharks or something. And uh, man, one little binding of the uh, this line biting itself on the spool, it didn't bird nest. But like one little bite of itself uh, into itself broke the Palomar knot I had on that four ounce uh, pyramid. I casted another four ounce pyramid. It did it again. I've never had a problem with uh, my Palomar knots with any of these other braids or any of these name man name uh, brand manufacturing braids. This stuff is like floss, and it comes in at in my experience fifty to maybe seventy five percent of its pound test rating. Um, Take it from me, I got a couple spools for free. I bought a 30 pound just to test it, just to make sure it wasn't, you know, some fluke. This braid here sucks. <laughs> it, it, it just didn't come through at all. I normally give some slack, some leeway on account that I'm not the best fisherman. I do make mistakes, but even I have to say, man, this stuff is garbage. Coincidentally, it's the cheapest line uh, on this uh, table here. 13 bucks will get you 300 yards of 30 pound test, uh, you know, according to Amazon pricing. This is all Amazon pricing, uh, you know, as of this video that I'm quoting. Um, so it is the cheapest, but man, for the money, you're much better off, in my opinion, uh, spending a couple more bucks and going with the Casking Superpower if you want a cheap entry level affordable line that's not going to break and bleed everywhere and sound like, you know, a buzz saw is going through your guides. So, Godline? More like, God damn, this line sucks. So we've come to the end of the video where I tell you whether or not, in my opinion, if any of this line featured here today is worth your money and time to invest over what, in my opinion, is the best affordable fishing braid that's out on the market today, and that's Daiwa J Braid, the eight strand version. Is any of this stuff worth it over the Daiwa J Braid? In my opinion, no. It's hard to find a better braid that's going to be as supple, hold knots as well, be as smooth, and be as trustworthy as Daiwa J Braid. I have Daiwa J Braid in 20 pound tests on my surf perch gear. I have it in 40 pound tests in my Lingcod bottom fishing rockfish gear. I have it in 60 pound tests for you know my sturgeon stuff, my big game ray stuff. Uh, for the price, it's very hard to beat Daiwa J Braid. J Braid is a little more expensive than these other braids. It's about eighteen to nineteen dollars for you know a three hundred yard spool of thirty pound test. But you know if you are fishing for keeps, if you're fishing for PBs, and you don't want to risk any catches to some no name online braid, then in my opinion. Daiwa J Braid, specifically the X8, is the way to go. And I've tested a lot of stuff. Uh, Berkeley Fireline, very good. Uh, Spider Wire, very good. Uh, Power Pro, um, very good. Power Pro Super 8 Slick, excellent. Actually, this is my, actually this is really my go-to uh, perch braid here. This stuff is like thread. J Braid close second. Um, Suffix 832, um, very good. Um, and uh, spider wire stealth braid, actually very good also. But in my opinion, there's no better braid than Daiwa J Braid X8 for the money. There are superior high performance lines that are much thinner. There are a lot of lines that are um, 
a lot cheaper that will do the job but if you want peace of mind in my opinion Daiwa J braid is the way to go the honorable mentions from today's video is casking superpower braid again in my opinion the best value affordable braid in this entire video today 15 bucks will get you 328 yards of 30 pound test or 300 meters again it might be 300 meters might be 328 yards it just depends on how they calculate their measurements you know forgive me if i'm uh you know off by 28 feet um not too bad this is a great this is a great braid for crabbing this is a great braid for vertical jigging where you're not putting a lot of repetitive casting stress on the line this is a great backing braid if you have a large spool and you just want to fill it with uh, some cheap stuff casking superpower braid i think it's their most popular braid and in my opinion it's worth the money casking makes some decent braid and uh you know the surprise uh, i think the biggest surprise of all the braids here today is this C Knight uh, Monster W8. Again, the only reason why I bring it up is because it's the closest in feel, the closest in not performance, in my opinion, uh, to Daiwa J Braid. So again, if it's your money, it's your, uh, you know, it's your equipment. If you wanna take a risk on anything you see here today, link in the description below, uh, any purchases made through that, uh, those associate links directly support content like this. But if I were you and I was fishing for keeps, go with Daiwa J Braid X8 or higher. You know, if you're on a budget, I still think that this braid is the way to go. So thanks again for watching. If you like this content, please give this video a like. It helps this video rank high enough to become one of the uh, you know go-to videos when getting an honest review of all this online braid that you see here today. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.